Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, as you guys can see up on the screen. Today, I want to talk a little bit about Mullen Automotive Incorporated. This is ticker symbol M-U-L-L. And, and the reason why we're talking about this one today is not necessarily the best day for Mullen Automotive, obviously, down 2.83% on the day, uh, kind of a rough day overall, especially when you look at the broader market and the fact that most, or I mean, all of the major indices were green today. They were up today. Today was a pretty good day for the market um, with the Dow Jones being up 1.01%, the S&P being up 1.12%, the Nasdaq being up 2.03, and the Russell being up 1.92. Um, so not only is Mullen, you know, underperforming those major indices, which isn't great, they're actually negative on the day and, and pretty significantly negative. 2.83, that's not like a small downward day. Obviously, it's not the end of the world either, but um, yeah, I mean, you'd like to see especially volatile stocks, especially stocks that, um, you know, have already been beaten down 58.69% year to date. You know, Mullen is going down on a lot of the days that the market's going down, clearly being down this much. So on the days when it goes up, you really want Mullen to be rebounding higher and doing better, but um, not necessarily, you know, great news for the stock price today, but there are plenty of other stories and stuff that we're going to get into in this video. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much uh, and subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. Of course, as always, there's going to be no financial advice in this video. I'm not telling you guys to buy anything. Not telling you guys to sell anything. I'm um, just going over the latest news, the latest stories, giving some of my thoughts and opinions. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, uh, yeah, Mullen had a weird day. You know, started out red, actually got green for a little while multiple times, but obviously could not hold those gains, came crashing back down, uh, and then was down another 0.83% after hours. So, um, maybe tomorrow's going to be more rough. I don't know. Uh, I think the stock market is closed this Friday for Good Friday. So, tomorrow is essentially uh, our Friday, which means a lot of volatility with, you know, options contracts expiring, obviously. Um, the question of whether or not people want to hold over a three-day weekend uh, and just the general questions of like, hey, what's the market as a whole even going to do tomorrow? Because, um, you know, we've been in a really negative environment. We've been in a really um, volatile environment. So who knows? But as far as Mullen specific stuff, we did have this, um, you know, a tweet from David Mishery. This is obviously the CEO of Mullen. It's always going to be a big deal when he has something to tweet. You know, this isn't necessarily insane. It's not any like big news or anything like that. But he did tweet out a picture of this, the Dragonfly Pure electric high performance sports car at our Tunica, Mississippi lobby. Uh, the sculpted carbon fiber body adds a futuristic element. Mullen Automotive, Mullen USA, EVs, sports car, cars, auto, and electric vehicles. Uh, and here's a picture of the car. You know, honestly, a pretty dope sports car. I think it does look pretty cool. I think people are overall going to be pretty happy with this. You know, it is showing that Mullen does have, um, you know, a legitimate product and stuff that, um, you know, who knows how many they're going to be able to make, how, you know, what all their delivery numbers and all that's going to be. But um, hey, you know, this is at least him showing off some stuff. Now, when people saw that David Mystery had something to tweet, there was a couple of different trains of thought. Some people um, want him to respond to the short report that got put out by Hindenburg. Some people would like for him to talk more about the Fortune 500 company that they're going to be partnering up with. So other people would like, uh, you know, him to talk about him uh, selling shares of the company and stuff like that. You know, there is a lot of different stuff that people want to hear from David Mystery. So the fact that he tweeted and it was just this, you know, not something with a whole lot of uh, substance or anything and not anything that gives anybody too, I guess, crazy of insight into a lot of things that I've been wondering, I guess, isn't necessarily great news. But um, yeah, I don't know. Still, uh, obviously, kind of a big deal. And every CEO of your company is going to be tweeting and putting stuff out publicly. Um, and hopefully it's for a reason. Hopefully this is a good sign. And overall, yeah, I don't know. I think it's a cool car. I think it's got a cool design cool look. Um, I know people have been talking about the carbon fiber body, you know, obviously being a good thing as well. Um, yeah, we'll see where this goes from the future. I think it's at least good that they're, you know, showing some stuff, showing off some stuff. Um, we also had people talking about this. For some reason, this was kind of posted in multiple different places. This was from September of 2021, the Zach's small cap research report on Mullen. Um, so this is not new. This is old, but it's getting passed around recently as people are kind of looking into it again. Um, and this is a whole report. You know, it's a 10 page report. It's got all kinds of different stuff. You should definitely go check it out if you want to. But um, there, the current price of the stock on August 31st of 2021 was $10.94, which is crazy because that's not that long ago. You know, what is that? Nine months ago, um, we were at 1081 and now we're at 240. Like, man, that really shows you how far we have fallen so fast. But at that time, um, you know, their price target or their, their valuation for the company 
was $23. And, you know, obviously they give all the different numbers and stuff and why they're coming up with this valuation. Uh, and that's just kind of interesting to people again to, um, you know, kind of zoom out and just know not that long ago, people were saying, hey, this company Mullen could be valued, um, you know, that highly and could have price targets that highly. Now, obviously things change when the stock falls 70% from, from those days or whatever. Um, but uh, again, most of these fundamentals have not changed. Most of the um, kind of metrics and everything that people are using to get to these numbers have not changed. Um, so uh, yes, obviously the stock has been beaten down. Yes, it's heavily shorted. Yes, there are a lot of things um, not going in its favor. And one of those things being obviously the broader market as a whole, you know, we have wars, inflation, um, interest rates, we have all this negative going on. Um, and Mullen is a very, very speculative and, and forward looking company that's going to get hit extra hard by a lot of those, um, you know, negative environment things uh, in the market. Um, but, you know, just a reminder that, hey, not too long ago, things were looking up immensely and those days could still potentially be ahead. You know, they might not. Lower lows could be ahead as well. Because again, um, even though just recently the stock was 10, 11, 12 dollars with price targets of, you know, 20, whatever, the stock was also, hey, 52 cents not that long ago. So who knows? We could be going right back down to there as well. But um, yes, this is that uh, you know report about Mullen um, that was posted a, a while ago, but it's something that people have been passing around recently as well. We also had this, um, a tweet uh, that a lot of people have been talking about, Kamau to help Mullen expand production. Now, this is from February of 2022, so this is not new news either, but people are diving into this more and more. The California uh, electric car startup Mullen Automotive is working with Italian automation specialist Kamau, part of the Stellantis Group, to expand its body assembly plant in the United uh, State of Mississippi, in the U.S. state of Mississippi. Uh, Amazon, this is from January 6th of 2022, Amazon to buy thousands of electric vans from Stellantis. And then, you know, they show again that, yes, Kamau is, uh, you know, the parent company of Kamau is Stellantis. So when David Mishry is talking about Mullen potentially partnering up with a Fortune 500 company sometime in the near future, and we know that Kamau is already helping Mullen a little bit, we know that Kamau and Stellantis are obviously linked together. People are then saying, hey, could this mean that Mullen and Amazon are are going to be coming together as well. I don't know. I'm not saying that it's happening, but that's at least what some people are saying, hey, could be a possibility. And I think it's interesting. I think it makes some sense. I don't know. Just throwing that out there for you guys because I think that honestly is pretty big news. More speculation for, yes, who this Fortune 500 company is going to be. People are throwing out all different kinds of names. I've seen PepsiCo a lot. Um, I've seen Walmart here, Pizza Hut, Instacart, AT&T, Roto-Rooter, Cable TV, other service companies. Who knows? Everyone has an idea. Everyone has a theory. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. And, and when we finally do get that big announcement, um, we'll see how the market and how investors and, and how everyone reacts to it and, um, you know, what it could mean for the company in, turn of, in terms of financials and stuff going forward as well. Um, we also have more people, um, you know, talking about different stuff. You know, is it 7-Eleven? Is it height dispensary or heights? Um, you know, all these different articles, all these different um, just kind of theories. I mean, it's just a giant rabbit hole right now. We're really waiting for Mullen to come out and make a comment or to announce a partnership or a deal or whatever, but people are certainly getting anti. They're certainly, um, you know, sitting on the edge of their seat. They cannot wait to hear what this fortune 500 company is going to be, what type of deal it is, what the numbers are going to be. And it's going to be very, very exciting. But as of today, still a lot of rumors, still a lot of speculation, but that's pretty much it for this video today. Guys, definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about MULN. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.